So uh, we just had lunch at Dickie's Barbecue, and one thing I've noticed is the price uh, of food is just skyrocketing, but uh, Sid wanted to make a couple points. Um, you know, um, I don't think they're going to be happy until uh, everyone is homeless. Um, what I'm seeing, uh, just being at this restaurant, um, we were the only ones here. Um, don't see much traffic. Nobody's even showed up yet. Yeah, um, so we've been here about a half hour, sitting outside, of course, to eat, um, because you're not allowed to sit inside. You're not even allowed to sit outside, so we had to walk down, sit on a bench, and eat, eat lunch like we're two homeless hobos. But as we're sitting here, we've been here for about 35 minutes, not one person has walked in to that restaurant behind me. There's two people working there, that's it. Um, it is just unbelievable how long Sid do these places even have that are open I think everyone is hanging by a thread no doubt that is uh, the quote of the day everybody hanging on by a thread uh, my heart goes out to everybody look um, you could be jobless tomorrow I could be jobless tomorrow anybody could be jobless anybody could be homeless so you know uh, just really take it um, as a blessing that you have a job today, uh, you, you have food today, um, you have a roof over your head. You know, we take so much for granted, but let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is no time to take anything for granted. It is really getting ugly out here. So here's another one right behind me, right off Highway 111. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a medical building or, or a construction company. Uh, this thing has been closed for, I mean, this was one of my videos a year ago, and this thing is still closed. Big, big building, big parking lot, sitting completely empty. And it's been empty for a very, very long time. Parking lot goes all the way around, wraps around the back. It's an extremely large, large building here. And uh, right off Highway 111, been sitting here for probably about a year and a half, empty. All this is closed. This whole little center. Absolutely unbelievable what is happening. All this, this whole little, this whole little center. Beautiful little, little center here is completely closed down, permanently gone. Um, you know, I make these videos to just make people think, uh, make, make people open up their, their brains and their eyes to what's really going on. And, um, you know, many of you are probably seeing the same thing in your area. So this probably comes to no surprise to you, but to some people who don't leave the house, people who are wearing blinders, people who are in denial, uh, I want you to take a real good look at what is going on. And again, this isn't a depressed area. This isn't some ghetto. This isn't Detroit. This is Rancho Mirage and Palm Desert, California, an affluent area. So I know if this is happening in an affluent area like this, I know that it must be a lot worse in many places across the country. So this is a, uh, a medical building right here. This was in a video from last year, still empty, closed down, for sale, and it's just sitting here in beautiful, beautiful Rancho Mirage. Let's take a look at that. This has been sitting for probably more than three years and continues to sit here falling apart this was also on a video last year you know if you take the time go out in your area drive around take a walk like we're doing today i think you're going to come to the same conclusion that we are things are hanging on by a thread here this economy is much much worse than they are telling you yes the fraudulent stock market continues to go up because it is being injected 
uh, artificially. But this economy is being sacrificed. You know, I, I read in the comments uh, t this morning, somebody telling me that, oh, I should be telling people to jump into the stock market. That's where the money is. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm not against anybody being in the stock market. I hope you're making money. I'm in the stock market. I'm buying mining stocks. I'm buying what's on sale. I'm buying what nobody else is buying. Uh, but realize that this economy is being sacrificed for Wall Street. And what a price we are paying right now so that a very few can make some money on Wall Street. This economy is being destroyed for Wall Street by Wall Street. And the reality of it is, a lot of this is never coming back. And they can pump as much money as they want into Wall Street, but at some point, it's no longer gonna work. And we're gonna see a huge, major crash. So if you're making money on Wall Street right now, God bless you. I, I hope that you're being smart and pulling some of your profits out and investing that monopoly money into some real assets like gold and silver because the stock market is on borrowed time and the stock market is going to crash even worse than this economy and then what if we don't have an economy how do people work how do people feed their families how do people pay their bills yeah it's great that a, few, a, a small percentage of people are making money and living the dream on wall street but what about the 90 95 percent 99% who are day to day. In 2019, 80% of this country was living paycheck to paycheck. That changed in 2020. How many people didn't have a paycheck in 2020 other than the paycheck they were getting from the government? And now that people can't even get a check from the government, they're not even able to go paycheck to paycheck. We better really start thinking about how this is all gonna play out and how it's gonna end and how you better be protecting yourself right now protecting yourself spiritually, financially, physically. Because I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, take a good look at what's behind me and what I'm showing you today. This is nothing. It's gonna get a lot worse. We have yet to meet reality. So this used to be a circuit city and then a, um, a uh, home furnishing store took, took it over. And uh, they've been gone for over a year, probably closer to two years. Who's gonna come in and take this building over and it's falling apart? And that's like another thing that I've noticed is the condition of the properties. Things are really deteriorating. The upkeep on a lot of these vacant buildings is extremely expensive, especially these real large ones like this one. Uh, looks like they probably had a major leak over here and uh, how to do some some uh, plumbing but uh, I mean who's gonna who's gonna come in and take care of these buildings once they're completely run down and where's the tax revenue gonna come that this city needs who's gonna make up the tax losses with these large buildings that pay taxes and uh, you know we're now forcing everybody to close down so that they can't pay their bills. And then the city's gonna go, well, how come we don't have any tax revenue? Well, because you closed everybody down. And now we have an economy that is shut down. How are people gonna pay their own personal taxes? Uh, and again, where's the tax revenue gonna come when these buildings can no longer do business, when the economy's so bad that they're closing up? And again, they, they didn't close up six months ago. This has been closed for probably at least two years. So we're gonna see a huge loss in tax revenue for so many cities across America. And you can bet they're probably gonna come after you and I to make up the difference, which is gonna be impossible. People don't even have jobs now. So uh, this thing's gonna end up really, really bad for America. It's gonna end up really, really bad. This used to be uh, another uh, retailer. It's been closed up for years. So, so we gotta stop blaming the infection for everything. It expedited uh, this collapse, no doubt about it, but it is not responsible for the economic collapse. This stuff has been happening for years, ladies and gentlemen. Huge, massive store here, as you can see, boarded up behind me. And uh, the property just um, really not being well kept. That is really something I'm seeing a lot today, is more garbage 
on the ground and the properties uh, just decaying, not being taken care of. And uh, it's starting to really be noticeable. And these cities are gonna really have a problem on their hands when these buildings uh, continue to just uh, erode, no tax revenue coming in, homeless people breaking into them. Uh, I don't know where it's gonna end, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where it's gonna end, and I don't know how bad it's gonna get, but I know it's gonna get much worse than it is now. So continue uh, your preparations. You know, this is a real sad one right here behind me. Boom, hometown buffet. Um, I used to love this place when I was much younger. Uh, but this one is gone permanently, permanently gone. And uh, just so you can see the lease sign in the window. Sid, let's talk about this one. This one kind of hits home. You and I used to really like this restaurant uh, many years ago. You want to elaborate a little bit? Well, you know, I used to bring my kids here. It's really heartbreaking to see a place like this, uh, not doing any business at all. You know, just memories with my kids, bringing them here, you know, taking them to dessert stations. and Yeah, Hometown you know. Buffet used to be the best bang for the buck. I remember, you know, 25, 30 years ago, hitting the Hometown Buffets. You could eat as much as you want, have as much milk. Pig out. Pig out. Um, but here it is behind us. There it is. Heartbreaking. And the jobs lost. Yeah, what about the job losses? A lot of people worked at these places. Uh, they're never coming back. This one is gone permanently like so many. Uh, pretty much everything I think we showed you today is permanently gone. These aren't temporary closures. These are permanent closures and more are coming. You got to think every time I do a video like this and, and, and I look at all these stores and restaurants, I think, Sid, how many of them are six, seven, eight, nine, ten months behind on rent? I would say the majority yeah. aren't paying their rent yeah. on time or, you know, they're getting these uh, small business loans to, to try to buy keep time up with the times. Yeah, you know? just trying to buy time with loans. So, you know, now they're in, now they're now they're in bed with the government and hopefully uh, they can pay those loans back. Um, but, Very sad. Uh, it really it is heartbreaking. Uh, you know, it, I, I wish we could make videos that were much more fun and less serious, but you know this is such an important time and it's such a dangerous time and, and i find it so important to make these videos even though they're they're it not fun a, and it wakens you up to the new world we're in because things are going to get even worse yeah you know when you when you spend a couple hours out here like sid and i did today um and you just walk around you know it's not it's not fun it's depressing it really is but um you must be aware of what is going on. You must have the knowledge uh, in order to prepare for what is coming. This is nothing. I mean, this is sad to see. Uh, there's been a lot of devastation, but this is nothing compared to what is coming. A majority of, of these restaurants out here have not been paying their leases. A lot of these small retailers have not been paying their leases. Bankruptcies uh, on the rise are, are, are exploding and it's only gonna get worse. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. So while it's not fun to do these videos, while I wish I was doing a different type of video that was more fun, this is so important. Um, this we wish is, we were in Vegas on vacation. You yeah, know, I mean, there, there's, the there's better things we could be doing. Uh, I'd much rather be taking a vacation, um, much rather be buying something that would uh, be fun to drive, to, to entertain me, whatever. Uh, but I, I'm making the sacrifices right now to continue uh, to prepare for this collapse, buying more gold, more silver. Um, and look, there's nothing exciting to me about having gold and silver. I put it away, I don't even think about it. Uh, you go to Vegas, you have you, you go out and have a nice meal, uh, you have a great time, you know, that's fun. But that money's gone. Once you do that, it's gone. Once you eat it, once you drink it, it's gone. The gold and silver will be there forever. The gold and silver quite possibly may save your life. And that's why it's so important to it's cut- been around for over 6,000 that, years. That's why it's so important to cut things out, make the sacrifices right now. Um, nobody is going to care what kind of car you drive right now in a collapse. Nobody's going to care about vacations in a collapse. Nobody's going to care what kind of watch you're wearing during a collapse. The only thing 
that you need to be caring about is can you get through it? Can you get through the collapse? There are people out there still spending money they don't have, still trying to, to you know, be a, your to, to be to impress people, to be big shots, to, and they're going broke trying to look rich. You don't want to be doing that that right now. That is that is suicide, ladies dangerous. and gentlemen. Very dangerous. Take a good look around. These businesses were here for many many years, and literally overnight, they're gone. We got Chuck E. Cheese down there. They're gone also. So, yeah, a lot of memories with my kids there too. Um, you know, it's very heartbreaking to see what is going on in my town and. Uh, I don't know if we we'll ever get over this. You know, I don't. I don't see uh, this economy getting better anytime soon. Um, the economy is taking all the hit. The economy is not recovering. The economy is in a free fall. So, what do you think the economy is going to do when we print another two, three, or four trillion dollars? The economy will crash. It well, will crash. I think it's crashing right now. We're in the collapse mode. We're in full collapse mode, but the crash mode mm -hmm. is coming. Yeah, I, I think that's a good point. Uh, you know, it's almost like a death by a thousand cuts. And every day, this economy is being slashed with a razor blade. And at some point, I, I believe that instead of a slow death, it's going to be a very quick death. So we are collapsing right now. Very obvious. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Most people alive today have never seen anything like this in their life. Um, I know people in their 80s who were very young during the Great Depression uh, who've never seen anything like this in their life. And uh, if you're not paying attention to this, look, uh, this is a thousand times, a million times more important than any Super Bowl, more important than any game. This is real life, ladies and gentlemen. Your futures are on the line. Your, your, your children's futures children's are on the line. Children's. Your pensions are on the line, ladies and gentlemen. How are they going to pay for all these jobs? How are they going to pay for police, jobs? police, fire, water, etc.? And let me tell you, a lot of your pensions are invested in commercial real 401ks estate. 401ks are, are in very dangerous trouble because they're all in the market. And a lot of them are invested in commercial real estate. And we are going to see the biggest real estate crash the world has ever seen. And, it's going to, and that's going to hop right over into residential real estate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is no joke. This Silver is serious business. Silver and gold is the best pension. Silver and gold is the best 401k because it's been around for 6,000 plus years. Nobody can argue that, never been worth zero. Now, nobody's gonna be able to promise me that their pension's gonna be there in five or 10 years, even a year. Who knows? Who knows what can happen? You know, these people who tell you and I not to be negative, tell you and I that this this could never happen, that could never happen. Take a good look around. It's happening. It's happening. Your economy is shut down. All your restaurants are shut down. You're sitting at home dependent on the government to send you money, dependent on the government to send you food. Not all of you, but millions of people now dependent on the government to take care of them. Yet there's people telling us this could never happen, that could never happen. Uh, don't be negative. Um, I'm not negative. I'm prepared. Okay, and I'm going to continue to prepare every day I have the ability to prepare because I see clear as day what is going on and what's coming. And I hope that you do too. So uh, we're just cruising back to the pad and uh, past this embassy suites. Just wanted to show it to you guys. I don't know if it's ever coming back. It looks 
completely closed. Uh, most of the resorts out here and hotels are running at 20% occupancy. Uh, they cannot, by law, I guess, have any more than that. But this one never even opened up. So, huge property. Right here in uh, Palm Desert. And uh, somebody's taking a very, very, very big loss here. Right across the street, Holiday Inn Express is open. There are cars there, but this one has not reopened. And the question is, will it ever reopen? How many people that worked here aren't working today? This unemployment crisis that we're seeing is unbelievable and it is getting worse by the day. And when I see huge establishments like this I, and nobody's here, I mean, this place probably in, uh, employed a couple hundred people. Where do they go now? How do they pay their rent? How do they pay their mortgages? How do they eat? Are they just dependent on the government forever? Really sad. It's, it's really sad to see uh, how far down this country is going down the toilet bowl, ladies and gentlemen, and nobody has an answer. The only answer we've been getting is, we're gonna get you a stimulus check. We're gonna get you some crumbs, that's it. That's the only thing they can tell us. Nobody's telling us about job creation. Nobody's telling us about paying the debt down. Nobody's talking about opportunity. Nobody's talking about having a plan to stop all this, uh, and getting this economy fired back up. All I hear is close down, close down, close down. Everything must close down. Yet we're seeing other countries opening, booming, producing, manufacturing. Their middle classes are growing, not ours. Our middle class is now becoming an endangered species. And with what I'm seeing right behind me here, I don't know how much longer that middle class has. How many jobs are we going to continue to lose? Who has a job left? Who even has a job left? Shopping area. We're in Indian Wells now. Yeah. Uh, this is a very exclusive community. Um, take a look at the parking lot. Uh, behind Sid and I take just take a look at this if you can I'll just spin it around here um, multiple vacancies over here I see a for lease sign there for lease sign there for lease sign there uh, behind Sid and I though very large building Sid what can you tell us it used to be a uh, Ralph's grocery store and uh, it went out of business I would say between two and three years ago they ended up shutting down. Um, you know, this is a very, very wealthy town. I don't see how in the world a grocery store can shut down in a wealthy town. I'm sure a lot of the residents were upset and maybe even contested it with the uh, city council, but what we're seeing is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, words can't really express this. Why I, I really stress that all of you get out and just take a drive, go into your cities. Um, maybe it's doing well in your town, your your city, wherever. Uh, but from what I can see right here in our area, and uh, I've been here in the past, it's not improving. And and you know these are affluent areas: Rancho Mirage, Palm Desert, and Indian Wells. Very affluent areas. And look at these empty parking lots. An empty grocery store, three years vacant. Um, all these little retailers over here closed up. Um, you know, uh, how does it all end? I don't think anybody really knows because we've never been in a place like this before. Uh, we could go across the street. Uh, there's a, uh, an office, a couple office centers over there. A lot of four lease signs over there. Again, if we had a few days, it would take us days, literally, to go through and show you the devastation that we're seeing here in the commercial real estate sector. And um, at some point, I will be doing a lot of videos on the residential real estate crisis when that begins to happen. Uh, but there's this euphoria, money is cheap, interest rates are very low, and uh, they are duping people into to, to, uh, buying homes. And I don't know how people can do it when there's so much uncertainty 
in the job market when incomes have not been growing but yet the prices of homes have been exploding uh, so you know the, the whole offset there with people uh, you look at the average medium income at thirty four thousand dollars today average medium income back in 2000 was thirty thousand it's only grown by four thousand dollars in 20 years and you look at the price of a home now average home around 300 average new home is around three hundred and fifty thousand dollars how are people doing it you look at the average price of a new vehicle thirty eight thousand dollars i mean the debt out there is insane and people are walking a tightrope here hanging on by a thread and so many people are so unaware of the dangers but many of them are finding out the hard way because now they've lost a job a spouse lost a job and they're falling behind the home is in forbearance the repo man's coming for the car or the suv and people are going to learn uh, a very harsh life lesson here ladies and gentlemen because people have decided to live beyond their means they've decided to be social media stars on Facebook showing us what they're eating what they're drinking what they're driving the new watch the new shoes and these people they're beginning to fall now these these are the people who are collapsing right now many people are living in their own collapse so be smart be awake be aware don't be one of the masses these people are losing every day and a lot of these people are gonna lose everything everything um, they're gonna pay a real severe price ladies and gentlemen and I don't want any of you to pay that price so be awake pay attention to what's going on don't live beyond your means this is the time to hunker down live below your means if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year you should be living like you make forty fifty thousand it's the time to be saving and stockpiling real assets. Uh, we'll leave it there today. Um, a lot happening and nobody knows how, how bad this is really going to get or how long it's going to last. But it's going to get real bad. It's going to last a long time. Stay safe.